Today is 10 10 2020, and we're fishing Shore and Beach. What's going on people? Finally back out fishing again. I'm down shore and beach. Got about two and a half hours to high tide. As you can see, a ton of bit of weed around here. Small tides. So it's not gonna come in too much further and it's not really gonna go out too much further. But today, fishing, I went up one down rig. Just throws a mackerel for the time being. And I'm just going to work that one out as hard as I can. Notice there's a net there and a red marker flag there. So I think it might be the end of the row of nets there because there's some more flags. Let's go that way towards Worthing Way. And I'm guessing they can't go too close to the arm, so I'm guessing they stopped there. So hopefully that won't be too much of an issue. Like I said, bit of weed around here see a few bits of the weed washed up from the bigger tides but I wouldn't mind trying to catch some small conger eels today just something a bit different even whiting I'll be happy to see whiting because I want to try for a big conger as well as I can so that I can get whiting for bait that's what will be going out right so just before I came out I was having a tidy up because I'm getting a new kitchen fitted I was having to move some stuff around and I found a bag of some goodies completely forgot I bought, bought all this but I found some trace wire 100 um, 100 pound breaking strain some crimps on it as well so that gave me a real idea for conga today so I'm gonna um, make up a trace line I know it's not ideal some people use about 150 pound one eye but you got trace a wire trace nothing's breaking that so I'm gonna make up a trace of wire never used wire before but let's see how we get on Right, like I said, never done a wire trace before. Don't know if I've done it right or not. Got a big old swivel there. Two crimps, don't know if you need two, don't know if you need one, don't know if you need more. Got about 18 inches of line. Done the same the other end. Big 6-0 uh, big six -o hook there. Just going to start off with a um, big squid on there, big squid bait until we can find some wires in and start using them for bait. I thought I've seen a couple of little rattles just on the one up one down rig. Helicopter flying past there. But I'll take that in once I've set this one up and cast it out and see if there's anything about. Right guys, just for the big bait, using a very lazy running ledger. That's my shock leader. I've uh, just got a weight on the swivel there, running up and down the shock leader line. Then my 18 inches of wire trace. And a whole squid. And then that's just going out as far as I can. You can still see the bit of the weed there. But what I'm going to do is hammer that one out. And take in that little bad boy up there. Okay, orange tip rod. We got a fish, bottom hook, Mr. Whiting, and he's going to become bait. Okay, guys, um, now for the bit which some guys don't really like. So, look away just for a few seconds. Just gone through the top, uh, top uh, lip there. That's how I'm live baiting. Now the hooks. I'm just going to chuck that one out. Well, about 20 yards of the can. See what we can find there. I had a real comical moment setting this shell swap in. I'm sitting in. It's so windy. 
my other half used it last, so I took the girls to the beach and used it for a sun shelter and left it all clipped up somehow. So I was trying to sort it out, shake the sand off it, and the bag blew about 100 metres down the beach towards the other person fishing and went in the sea. I had my shower half up, blowing around in the wind. I had to chuck that on the floor and chuck a load of stands on it, run after my bag to uh, get, it, get it out of the sea again. Doing Nightmare, I was shattered by the time I got back to the shower. I was half expecting my shirt to blow away as well, so I'm in a nightmare. But hey ho, I'm back out fishing, I'm happy. Had a fish already, so first class, can't complain. But that whiting's back out there now on the uh, right hand rod, so I've loosened my drag right off just in case a big fish comes along. Could be anything this time of year, you could get congers, you get bass, you get rays, cod, but you know, you don't you don't know what you're gonna catch and you try. Notice a few little rattles on the orange rod again on the left hand side. So I think that's just gonna be white and white and white in. But I'm happy, I'm catching fish. Uh can be out for five, six hours a day, got plenty of time to fish today. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Okay. Second fish. Another white in. This one's really out of proportion. It's got a massive head and eye. Skinniest body's going. Look how skinny that is. A massive head. Must be something up with its eyes. So look how big its eyes are. I'm hanging out. But I'm going to keep this one for live bait as well. <laughs> Just to give you the indication of the weed. It's on the big bait. Uh, see a bit of weed on the line there. That's closer in that one. It's hard to get any distance. We're going to try to cast out a big bait. A few little battles on your orange rod still. I think they're more white in bites. So I think that one will be coming in soon. Rest of the beach. Empty down that end. But really windy. You can see the kite going crazy. And how much tension is underneath the shower. I've got my microphone on, so hopefully the wind quality isn't too bad on the mic. But yeah, I'm just happy to be out. There you go, guys. Another white in. Only a small one. Just um, showing off my new wellies. Ten pounds tool station bargain. But yeah, that's probably the same size as that last white in. But in proportion this time. The other one was just all over the place. Um, nothing on the bottom hook, bit of weed there, but nothing too bad. The weed seems to be close in, so if you're bringing, doing any close, close casts, that's where the weed is. It seems to be catching on the line and pinning it down a bit. That distance doesn't seem too bad. Okay, my orange rod. Oh, left hand side there. That's the one I've been using, the one up, one down rig on. It's got weed in the line quite close in. So I'm guessing it's been snagged up and pulled down. But no obvious bites. A few tiny little rattles, but it's probably whitened again. So I'm going to take that one in. White hand rods with uh, whitening on it. It's holding strong. A little rattle from the whitening now and again still. So that's still doing well. But yeah. Time's taken my left hand rod to see what we got. Nothing that time, guys. Been stripped on the top hook. Tiny bit of um, mackerel left on the bottom hook. Had some weed on the ledger knot as well, so I had to pull that off before I could wind it by thing. But time to get this one back out again. Gone for a big chunk of squid on the top hook that time, and a bigger chunk of mackerel. See if we can find something a bit different with a dogfish. Got about 20 minutes to high tide now. Tide's about 5 metres away from my tripod. Hopefully I won't have to move. Shelter's just here. So hopefully we'll be safe. But let's try and find a different species. Alright guys, just taking in the left hand rod. I did previously put some big squid chunks on this one. See a bit of weed in my line. I've noticed the wine haven't been taking the squid. It's just been the mackerel. Just put a sort of rattle on the white ones. 
That's why. See the weed on the line there. It's got better since the tires started dropping away. The sun is now officially set. It was a cracking sunset. But now, it looks like it's got to tip it down in the rain. Thinking about taking my shelter down so it's um don't get soaking wet, so that's pack away wet gear. And then probably call it a night. Because I'm not hundred percent sure I've got my torch with me. Really want to be packing away in the dark with no torch. So yeah, might chuck this one back out and then start packing away and see what happens. Right guys, this is the live bait rod. So the weed on the line here. Massive pile of it there. That's all stuck up the shock leader knot. A bit more towards the weight. And that was for the live bait whiting, which has now lost its eye. So that's a goner. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna chuck that one back. Just hold out with the orange tip rod there. Just see if we can catch any last minute species. And I'm gonna pack this away and chuck this away because that sky there doesn't look good it looks a lot worse on in person than camera still a nice sunset going on over there but I've got spits around my phone now bye guys just taking in my last rod a load of weed around um, the ledger knot again squid on both hooks are untouched it's weird white and don't, doesn't seem to want to go for the squid for some reason. Um, my other rod, of a shock cleaner knot, I had to, um, I had to cut the line. It was so snagged up uh, with weight, I couldn't untie it, and it, the leader knot was getting so tangled up as well. I just cut it in the end, so I got that to re put on. Got no head torch, and it's almost dark. Um, so yeah, I'm going to rush and pack up. But yeah, you like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, click the bell notification, that way you get notified every time I upload. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.